Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death with the Hardcore World of Warcraft. It is time to do what our first is. dungeon. As such, we are going into Ragefire Chasm. We got uh, all of the quests uh, that exist for the dungeon, sharing uh, them with uh, our team. And it seems as if our warrior, who is a tiny bit overleveled, isn't really taking a break. Well, I don't have a target. At least this year should solve our equipment issue. Since we're not really leaving combat a whole lot, might as well use our time to level the one skill. So, Ragefire Chasm, a set of tunnels un underneath um, Algrima, which typically cause a little bit of a problem. wise since our tank is so heavily out leveling uh, the place we're not really getting a lot out of it Damn, he's definitely pulling fast. But yeah, uh, I take it that that is more going to be a loot run than an XP run, which is okay. I don't mind that. The moment that he thunderclaps, we can AoE. Regenerating a little bit of mana whilst uh, doing one damage. Not enough mana. Good time to drink up. The guys are definitely dealing a lot of damage and are killing quickly. Too bad that we couldn't find a warrior on our level. Would have been nice uh, to get a bit of experience, but it's okay. Plus three spirit, yet again leather trousers. I'm hoping for a little bit of cloth, 
good cloth, actually. That's the first intro to group play, and I think Blizzard has done a very nice job in doing so. Relatively straightforward uh, dungeon, can't really uh, go wrong, it's just one way. Unless you're grossly miss it, uh, messing it up, it's typically a pull of two or three, so not much happening there either. biggest challenge here is to always stay somewhat healthy on my mana count Ogre Flint uh, one of the first bosses but apparently hasn't dropped anything except linen cloth So, and there is definitely a step up between RFC, which we're currently running. And uh, going a little bit uh, further into the Wailing Caves, which is uh, the next the biggest dungeon afterwards. Wedding Heavens has way more enemy density and also more difficulties in the actual pulls. Interesting maze, but again, nothing that we can uh, use. I was hoping that we would get a bit of a base equipment out of uh, this run. But yeah. Loot so far hasn't really been great for us. Okay, he's clever, he's not completely overpulling. The Molten Elementals can suck if you get too many of them. And keep in mind, this is hardcore, so if he messes it up, then things aren't looking that great. A 
at least we're going to get uh, decent quest experience. Not great, but decent. And in Hardcore they also changed the general experience in dungeons, uh, so that you can't power level someone through dungeons. Also, every single dungeon now has a 24 hour lockout, meaning once I'm done here, I couldn't run it again for 24 hours. to drink. The tank is doing a nice job to not overpull. You could get uh, overzealous and basically just Leroy Jenkins it, charge in. But no, he's doing a good job, and that's kind of uh, the instance uh, play that uh, you would expect from hardcore players. Another player has reached level 6. Congratulations, it's the 6th one that I have witnessed so far. And we've seen around 10-12 people die, but the majority since we had the death lock. So I'm pretty sure there had been more. I'm pretty sure there had been more. I'm just decursing uh, because some of them do have a nasty damage curse. And there is the next boss. He patiently waits for mana. That's not bad. I like that. Alright. Taragman. Not a bad sort. We're getting Tarakman's heart. So, uh, a tunic would be good, but not a male tunic, unfortunately. Freed him off of uh, the curses. And there is uh, the next quest. Cool. Both of the quests done. an okay staff but unfortunately not as good as the one that I'm having since it has a little bit less stamina
Good, gotta be careful to give the tank enough time uh, to aggro them. so over leveled i would not go for aoe on group mobs we would uh, play it safe and sound but given that we do have a very strong tank that's fine and there is yargosh the invoker Wasn't he? It's been a long time. Oh, that one I would need. Very much so. Let's hope we'll get it. Uh, we'll get it. We're not getting it. And that was uh, the chest uh, piece is particularly bad item for me, so that would have been a really nice upgrade. Rough. My bad, by the way. I commented incorrectly. Of course, there is a little bit more dungeon to go. Wow, another level 60. Not bad. Today is a good day. We, by the way, got another level, so naturally we're specking deeper into Frost. That's a really nice item. Good. 
Basil arm. Very good. Cool. So, that was a quickie. Let's go back and in the quest. I know it's just going to be a bit minor XP. I was uh, mm, hoping that we would be getting uh, the rope. And then it dropped, uh, but we unfortunately didn't. And I'm also not going to be too selective with the group members that I am grouping up with. I just took whoever we could. Could have easily kind of uh, build it around uh, a mage only for, uh, or me being the only cloth wearer. But yeah, I'm happy for the other guy. He got uh, some loot as well. That's fine. Perfect. Good. Fast forward for you guys. All right, we're back after finishing the dungeon successfully. Let's do a couple of quests. We're going to start with Minus Fortune up here, and then I think I'll go for the Ignition quest as well. Both of that uh, should be doable. Level 18 uh, quests, uh, so that should be straightforward. Serena Broodfeather, uh, level 20. I think Serena was uh, the um, elite mob, so not 100% sure if we should go with that. Uh, we're starting on this side and maybe working our way over to here. Okay, so we moved up. We got Nugger Slux, which is another quest that we just got by uh, following this quest that we did earlier. And now it's time to finally get to the oil bore rig. Um, oil rig. Just a matter of maneuvering through this and we need to get all the way up uh, to the top in order to also take the other quest. Got one quest ready. So an opening for uh, for a quest. Oh wow! Immediately first death here. Someone has mingled with the wrong scorpion, apparently. The dangerous part, uh, part here is that they can just run into each other and we basically need to take the nugger uh, slugs, things that are on the ground. Good. It'll take me a while to free all of this up and we will need to get in uh, on top of the middle as well. So yeah, that, that will be quite a bit of clearing. So I think we're going to fast forward that uh, piece. Alright, we moved our way forward to Whiskrank here. Who gives us the ignition uh, quest? Pretty sure we need to uh, get the ignition key from the middle island. 
if I'm not mistaken. So I freed that up. And if I'm not mistaken, I needed to go all the way up there. So we're continuing to basically get on top of the oil rig. And I'll fast forward that uh, for you guys, since it is a long uh, journey. Good, immediately got the supervisor here because he was uh, moving downwards. And I think that also means we don't even need to get all the way up there. Even better. So all I need to do is grind through the remaining mobs here and get a couple of uh, these nuggets. That should be easy enough. All right, we gave the key back to Wizard Crank, who has started the engine and we're now protecting him on his way out of here. A little bit of a mana slock. I needed to kill, I think overall, eight or nine enemies. But thanks for having a tank, uh, the pulls are actually, relatively speaking, easy. Good. Did that finish the quest? What's up? Hmm. Yo. All right, did that finish the quest? Good, I assume we're heading it in in Booty Bay. Okay, cool. I'll just do the uh, remaining nuggets here because that's still missing, unfortunately. And we'll fast forward that. All right, moving on to the next quest. We are looking for cat's eyes emeralds. This time, the venture coal mercenaries are of a little bit higher level, so we gotta be much more careful. Also, they do have a whole little location just for them. So we're going to eat a uh, well-fed uh, food just to increase our stamina a little bit getting it all the way up to nearly 500 hit points gosh how easy would it be if we just had decent equipment Good, so this is relatively straightforward as long as we're single pulling, like I'm currently doing. Thanks to our freezing proc chance, we should be very much fine. Let me fast forward most of the search process because this here is grinding 101. Okay, next up, we moved to the Norse. 
uh, northwest and are looking for the boss of the harpies not uh, the elite one but the named one serena she's supposed to be around here and we're going to give it a good spin to see if we can find her it's going to be a bit of a dangerous endeavor it's a level 20 quest so i want to be in and out as quickly as possible our escape route should be kind of directly alongside the hill wall. That's why I'm clearing this here. And if we can find her, great. If not, too bad. Maybe another day. Plus, it's never wrong to farm harpies because they do have light feathers and that means definitely more feather fall for us, which is something that we can, over the course of our career, certainly use. All right, Serena is not here, as far as I can tell. I need to get closer. That over here is just a wind caller, it's not her. But she has a little bit different color pattern as well, so she might be just around the corner. Wind caller, slayer. Not her, but she should be quite literally up here. Gotta be careful with the slayers. Those are the ones with execute. And they're also running away, which means they would be getting more of them. There we go, there's Serena. Okay, we got a nice little exit uh, trail if needed. Let's hope that's not the case. Does that trigger her? No. much to pull her next are the others coming hmm good question it has been a long long time since I played this the last time So I'm not fond in risking it, but I think we should be okay. She didn't react as the others were going down. too strong for her and we got her head fantastic I think that's it with all the stupid harpies time to get out of here and trade in our quests 
Next up, I have traded in all of the quests and look at that, we're almost at level 20, who would have thought? So just a few quests, I do have a lot of quests that also need to be uh, traded into other cities, but I figured before we're now doing like a long travel odyssey, how about we're instead just focusing on uh, the here and now? which is getting level 20, then we can also get the teleportation spells. And level 20 will be a huge level for us. Blink will be there and a couple of other really good spells. So I'm very much looking forward for that. Uh, but let's uh, temper our anticipation a little bit. We first of all need to get there. Good Stranger Cap um, seaweed options there, just in case we ever need it. And now we need to get to those booties. Okay, fair enough. Enemies here aren't particularly high anymore. They are meta and fake, meta fake gray. But they're still standing quite close together. So we need to get uh, those booties, um, then we need to get 10 medallions. Those will be a little bit more difficult. And if we play our cards right, we can also invade the castle there. Just a lot of enemies, so... This here is always a bit of an issue. Cannoneer Smithy, I remember that one. And Cannoneer Wensman. Yeah, both of them need to be killed as well. And they are inside of the castle. So need to be uh, need to get in there anyways. Now that's the point in time where a nice little priest buff for extra hit points would be absolutely helpful because our equipment is so so bad. But I don't want to complain about that all the time. We just have to play more careful then. Had I known about that self-finding limitation for newer accounts, I would have potentially gone uh, with um, tailoring. Okay, so that's the next package and then we should be done. This guy just didn't want to die. I need to get closer. Good. Two shipments and he got a wand. Oh, he had the same one that we had before, yeah. We got a new wand as part of one of the quests. But uh, just to give you an overview about our equipment, shoulders, yeah, so and so, back actually uh, relatively good. Uh, the vest completely not the garbage, brace are the same, um, waist the same, boots the same, like all of that is not really good. I need to get closer. Good, so we arrived at our destination. These guys here are interesting. They have a defensive stance and shield bash, so 
They aren't the most fun enemies to fight when you're a caster. But thankfully we now have a 15% chance of freezing them. And that means on average every sixth uh, Frostbolt uh, freezes the enemy. And you can see it uh, really starts to pay off. It will become even more crazy when the crit chance for frozen targets massively increases. And then also the crit damage. At that point the Frostbolts will hurt really, really, really hard. I can't cast that yet. And with all of the slow, we're having not a lot of issues. Good. The problems, however, start here, and maybe we can showcase a little bit of how to get into the castle. It's a combination of roaming patrols and just mob density overall. That's Good, and the problem is the patrol, uh, the roaming patrol will add, and that means we just gotta run away. Easy enough. Now that he's far enough out here, he will not le leash the other one. Very good. And now it's basically just the last guy uh, there. All right. I'll fast forward the trash mobs. All right. I work myself forward to the first tower in an anticipation of what may or may not await me in here. And if my recollection is correct, there should the first name should be in there. I need to target something first. Line of sighting the caster. Pulling them all the way out with a nice little line of sight. Line of sighting them again. Very good. That was close. We didn't want any more ads. Good, let's take a look. This might not be the correct location. Holy shoot. That might be the correct location, but I don't like what I'm seeing.
thinking about should I do the escort quest? Because most of uh, the stuff should be cleared. Might as well. Can I assist you? So he will move down and we will definitely need to kill all of the potential enemies that are in the way before he accidentally aggroes them. I need a target. Respawns are happening now. I'm just taking out the castles. I don't know if uh, he's going to hit these guys, we're going to see. Problem is there is another ad coming in. can't nah I don't have the mana wonderful I don't think that I can do that I don't have the clearing speed in order to get him completely out of there. It's just too many casters. Alright, I look for the cannoneer. For both of the cannoneers. Okay, we're at the top of the tower. I full heartedly hate this building. It's closed. Very difficult to get around. Captain Fairmont took a while to even free up because of so many guards left and right. Good, and I do see spawns are happening below us. That's never a good sign. Once we're done here, we need to really get out of here, but in a careful way. It's just the worst place ever. does have a mage on her side. Well, that's not good. I think we're going to take her uh, the mage out and we'll focus on her. Oh, 
But we just gotta sit through the barrage of uh, holy uh, lights uh, from the priest. Not much we can do about it. Good, now the big problem is getting back down because the issue is we're we're seeing spawns coming uh, up from down there. You can't just jump down clearly and you're running essentially back into into the respawn. That's why I hate these in enclosed encampments. There were, I think, two more guards on this level. And the next one is spawning back there. Let's hope we're only triggering this guy. the issue down there don't want to trigger four of them this should only trigger one Exactly this guy. Good, next up we take her. She has line of sight issues. The Holy Smite isn't that much of a problem. Just need to make sure that she's not running away. And we have enough mana, so we should be fine. See? Unnecessary difficult when you're uh, doing it all alone and you need to be really really careful because just training uh, the enemies out is not an option. Gotta take every step very very carefully. Good, he used his shield bash. The guys above us have already respawned, and that's exactly what I uh, meant. You're essentially clearing the tur uh, tower twice because I don't know. Uh, which character at level 20 would have the DPS to continuously chain kill them all by themselves uh, and then just jump out. I don't, I just don't see that happen. I thought it was a single pull, but it was not.
was careful with the other patrol here. So yeah, uh, that is a showcase of how to carefully move in and out without panicking or needing to train anything. Good. Unfortunately, we got another turret uh, or tower ahead of us. Because uh, there is still Cannoneer Smithy. And Cannoneer Wesson. Won wonderful. All right, second building. Let's see if this here is triggering anything. Oh, it very much is. I think we're just going to try to leash uh, them away. Hopefully this is going to work. Come on, we're far enough away. Well, apparently not. Our sleep powder came in very, very helpful. If you're having packs of three, then sheep plus sleep powder allows you to thin them down. So yeah, I can understand why this uh, quest is flagged as level 20 because packs of three are pretty rough even if they are quote-unquote only level 16 uh, the tenth character since we're playing has reached level 60 and as you can see two characters have died in the same uh, in the same time So the quota might not have been as bad as I thought it was with 50-50-50-50 because the players uh, that are dying easily might no longer play hardcore, but the quota is still really bad. Okay, let's hurry up. I don't fancy myself uh, redoing that other fight. Good, good time for a level up. Let's kill that preserver and get out of the tur uh, tower. I can't cast that yet. Fabulous. 
fast forwarding to the third one. Good, we're at the third building, the last one. We didn't level 20 in the meantime because we've uh, killed so many enemies. Also very kill intense quest. And in one minute, our hard stone is going to be up. And boy, boy, that might be a way out of here without needing to cheese our way out of here. Should be fine. Fabulous. Is that the last one? Yes. I don't think that I can do the escort quest. It's just too many enemies on the way. Uh, and to be honest, it really doesn't matter that much. We have reached what we wanted to do, which is level 20. We're officially in the club of the top 25%. Uh, two coin flips successfully tossed, and we're still alive. If that isn't a reason to hardstone out, uh, I don't know what is. And with that, I think we're ending today's episode uh, successfully. So thanks a lot for watching. Next time, we're going to continue with either a dungeon or... Um, another location. Thanks a lot for watching, have a good one and bye bye.